what's going on guys welcome back to the channel as you can see by the title and what we're doing today in the previous clips what you just saw we are taking apart parts car g35 as you can see i did mention this in the last video if you guys didn't already go see make sure you click the link right somewhere here here somewhere somewhere over here uh yeah i explained the, what we were doing today but if you didn't watch that video what we're doing is we're taking everything apart as you can see there's already some stuff down here uh if you saw the last clip we were taking up we were cutting into this door mainly because the lock mechanism that's in there that right there is broken so we literally just cut the door and the door was no good anyway because like the pillar and stuff was rusting into it and there's a whole bunch of rust in there but obviously we need to take out the interior and stuff like i explained in last video if you guys like i said if you guys didn't already go watch that please go watch that it'll explain some of what we're doing today but i'll still explain it again we are just taking everything that we can today because today's a nice day and today's probably one of the days that i'll have off from work that are that's a nice day so what we're gonna try to do today is get everything out like i said we already started to get the rear seat and some of the trunk trim out but you got to get the all the interior out we got to take the trunk off you got to take the hood off uh, if we get time we got to take the drive shaft out and the uh, rear diff everything that gets taken out of this thing is going to go into the drift car right here we're not obviously going to put that in today because today's we're focusing on taking everything out so what we're going to start with today is we got to get the trunk off we have to get the trunk off right here and we have to get the all the interior out we have to get the hood out or off and the wiper uh, motor and stuff like that because we have to take the windshield off and pretty soon once we get everything out off once we get everything off like the diff and everything else that i need i'm gonna call somebody to come just like take the chassis and junk it because i do need the windshield for the other car because the other ones just crack the smithereens so with that being said First order of business is I'm going to try to take off the trunk and the hood and next will probably be the seats and when I get both of these off I'll check in with you guys and I'll probably try to take all of this stuff out of the back here because I'm going to put even though it's a drift car I want it to look stock so I'm just going to take everything put it back into there I even think there's a spare in there too which is the cool part so once I get everything off or at least the trunk of the hood, I'll check in with you guys. Clutch. Yeah. What did you do? No, because I just I just did a rev and a. Is that the sticker you were talking yeah, about? Come on. What does that say again? Blessed. Lust. Blessed. Oh, blessed. Yeah, blessed in Japanese. Oh. oh. It's American. Ah, oh, there's a catch. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Something's not right here. <laughs> as you can see right here we did a little bit too much 
uh, that we should have today, but it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna be content for you guys and we're gonna have the G35 drift car hopefully up and running today. Right now, those clips that you just saw, are my brother and our dad are currently washing out, spraying out the uh, carpet that's gonna, the black slash gray carpet is gonna go in here because this car, it was sitting in this car and it was just junk everywhere. Like, look how bad that is. Yeah, so it was just junk everywhere and disgust, it was disgusting. Like, and on top of that, when we removed the engine harness, there was the little grommet that came along with it and water got in so it, it started to smell so I know it might not be the right way to do it if not it is one of the best ways to do it because pressure washing all that dirt out is like probably the best way to you know get rid of the smell all of that so let me get you caught up on what we're doing right now yo we got in there What are you doing, dog? Here, Culture squad? You know what are you doing here? Yeah. Oh shit! Let's What's go. up, man? Let's go, dog. How you been? Good, good. What are you doing, What's up, dog? Man? Huh? We're doing an interior swap. Black interior into the uh, drift bus. All because you don't like tan interiors. Yeah. What it goes on here? Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I honestly, I wasn't gonna do it. I bought the car to part it out to make money off of it, and I already did. So hey, all the black the interior. Huh? Where's the trans? Trans and engines over there. Still for sale, by the way. Alright guys, so we got interrupted there for a little bit, but right now, like I already explained to you guys what we're doing, we took the dash out of this, it's sitting right here. Chilling right there. So basically what we're gonna do now is I have to take this seat out, the passenger seat, and the center console stuff. Basically the whole spiel of getting the dash out is to take out the seats, the center console, the radio, stuff like that. So we can get this dash out because I'm like I said I'm swapping every black, gray, the basically the whole interior that came out of this into the drift car. So with that being said, I'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse and you'll basically just see us taking out the seats and hopefully get all the dash out in one clip. So with that said, time lapse starts now. guys so quick update we got the dash out we got the carpet out right now we're just cleaning it up and basically when they jacked up the car they're jacking it up right there in this general area and pushing the floorboard up so therefore it was making the carpet rise up because there's foam pieces like that that goes right in those areas to fill it so it's nice and flat and even so right now we're just flattening those parts out that way when you put the new carpet in and the foam pieces it's sitting all flat um, other than that we're waiting for the carpet to dry a little bit more and we can put the carpet in and then you can start putting the dash back together oh i didn't even think you guys swapped this over i didn't know it came up like oh, that it works now holy crap that looks good Ready recording Hey, I'm gonna be the first one to die back here. I don't know how to do this. Okay, uh, cancel, or you gotta click something, something, something. Three. Boom. Ah, oh, there we go. Damn. It works. Oh, not bad. Just a random fire extinguisher back here, please. Woo! I'm the not low guy, boy. Yeah. Alright, so when should I start recording? Things been running. Actually.
I felt that mean misfire moves, though. though. Oh my god. Dragon. Is my headlight still there? Yeah, it's still there. Oh shit, is it the guy that we knew? Is it the guy? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Skip in there? Alright guys, so it's been a while since I last filmed the clips of the G35 and basically within that time and now, you gonna put those wheels in there? Between that time and now, uh, I'll explain what happened. So the last clip uh, was like the time lapse of me swapping like part of the interior. I don't exactly remember, or rip. it was something that had to do with the interior of the G. Uh, and then after that, it skipped to some videos of when we were ripping the G, I think. And that's like when we had most of the interior already in. Uh, the outside really didn't have anything going on too much other than it was still stripped. And then after that was um, some clips during the day, which was recent, just a few days ago, of me and Matt and uh, Kevin. We went out to like some local, uh, like, car meet show type deal we really didn't film anything there because it really wasn't for us we got invited but we just really went there to uh, see what it was about but we filmed our way there and back uh, and now today is when I'm filming this outro because this video has been going on for at least a few weeks now and I really need to get it you know ended and uploaded so you guys can see it uh, mainly because I need to start a new video and I don't want it sitting on my laptop all day Every day for weeks now to edit. I already got most of it edited. So that's why I'm just creating this outro uh, so that's what's been going on and Why this video has been taking a while to upload uh, But yeah, as always guys see you in the next one Just end it